We begin tonight with the latest out of Muskegon, where a 16-year-old boy was killed tonight. His body found a few hours ago near a local elementary school. And now police are fearful more violence could follow. 24 Hour News 8's Barton Dieters is live tonight with what police are telling us at the scene. Barton. Well, Brian, it is here in this alley near East Lakedon and Hoyt Avenue where the body was found earlier today. I was home like around 5.30, took a shower and left. Didn't hear nothing out of the ordinary. Didn't even see anything out of the ordinary. You get a text at 7.30 saying there was a body found. Muskegon police believe the 16-year-old was shot elsewhere and his body was dumped here in an alley across the street from Moon Elementary and Mercy Health Hospital. The body was discovered by a neighbor around 6.30 p.m. and police spent several hours investigating at the scene. Witnesses here have identified the victim only as Jamari, a 16-year-old student allegedly at Muskegon Covenant Academy. Police say they have a person in custody they believe is connected to the shooting and a weapon has also been recovered. Police think the shooting was the result of a dispute earlier in the day. Police have also been on the lookout for others they believe may be coming to the scene armed and looking to cause trouble. While we were here, several police cars converged on a young man, handcuffed him, and placed him into the back of a cruiser. Now, the last shooting in the city of Muskegon was in April when 23-year-old Charles Cuddy was shot not far from here at the Sam's Drink All party store. Two people are facing charges in that incident. Now, obviously, there are a lot of questions here, not least of which are the identities of both the victim and the person that police have in custody in connection to the shooting. Look for live updates on this on woodtv.com, and of course, we'll follow it here. Live in Muskegon, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8. Just an awful way to start summer break, that's for sure. Barton Dieters reporting live. Thank you.